to see you manage to get the computer started. So you want to hook up online or play at home? That's great. How many people you got there? All right, let's have your name. All right, that'll do it. Tell me, friend, would you like some counsel on the ways of Jack? Nope? Okay, choose wisely. Episode. We got all the material for this episode out of the Lost and Found box at the local YMCA, along with a pair of really cool swimming goggles. So, looks like it's just the two of us. At least we won't have to explain any of our inside jokes to anyone. And we're off! Give me a little buzzer action and I'll give you an amount. Let's make this one worth 1500 Open wide and get ready for fungus that looks great in lingerie. Okay, free your mind. Suppose Kate Moss gets lost in the woods. Given where Moss is usually located, where might the search part clinging to the north side of a tree, clinging to the south side of a tree, clinging to the east side... Moss grows most prolifically on the north side of trees. So if we come around to the north side... Oh, yep, there's Kate Moss. Oh, and look who else is there. 60s supermodel Twiggy. Value time. The total amount for this question is 3,500 bucks. I'm calling this one Dog Gone. Oh, man, I got to tell you, on the way into work today, I saw this lost dog poster. Oh, I feel so bad for this cute little puppy whoppy. I figured I would take this time and, you know, read the poster so that maybe we could find him. You just buzz in and type the name of that little puppy when you know it. Okay, is that okay? Okay, here it is. Missing lovable St. Bernard. Oh, this big cuddly fellow has a small case of rabies and has been known to attack couples and pintos. Please call right away if found. Now who is this lost dog? Come on, take it! It's Cujo, that adorable rabid St. Bernard who's missing. I can just imagine how worried his owners must be. Sitting up nights wondering where their poor homicidal pooch is. If he's cold. Whose flesh he's ripping to shreds with his iron jaws of death. Grab that value. The value for this one is 2,500. Let's see what we got going. Raise your hand if you care where Waldo is. Last one in is a rotten egg. Imagine it's May 4th, 1886, and Waldo is lost amidst a crowd of writing laborers from the McCormick Reaper Company. Where's Waldo? The On May 4th, 1886, striking workers from the McCormick Reaper Company started the Haymarket Riot in Chicago. But fortunately, it all ended peacefully when the two sides joined forces to beat up a four-eyed wimp in a striped shirt. Go ahead and pick an amount. Here's what you can win on this one. Forty-seven fifty. Hey, I know. How about Al Pacino is one great smelling guy. Hey, you've heard of musk perfume, right? Well, suppose Al Pacino's character from Scent of a Woman thinks he smells the woman of his dreams. If he follows the scent of musk, what animal might he actually end up? Musk is the most common fixative used in perfumes, and you get it from ringing out a musk deer. And then Al Pacino's character could make sweet love to the deer. Completely different movie, but one worthy of Oscar contention nonetheless. 
grab a value. I bet you're going to become very intimate with that value. You're about to take on a dissertat. And this dissertat question's category is finders, weepers, losers, keepers. Now, I'm going to rattle off about seven different things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's lost or found. Simple enough, huh? As I read each one, if it's... Well, someone's done this before. Here's your 30 seconds. Let the games begin. Atlantis, lost or... Amelia Earhart. The Dead Sea. A cure for polio. Jimmy Hoffa. Titanic wreck. One more. John F. Kennedy's brain. That'll make seven. All right, so you dropped a couple. I've seen worse. Let's look at your score. Hey, every little bit helps. Pick a value. And here's what you can win on this question. 3500 bucks For your enjoyment, don't throw stones at candy houses. Let's go. If the cast of the Blair Witch Project dealt with the Blair Witch the same way Hansel and Gretel dealt with their witch, what would be the... If they followed Hansel and Gretel's lead, why the Blair Witch Project would end with a witch's butt sticking out of an oven. Followed by a raging argument over whose idea it was to visit the gingerbread house in the first place. Heather! Go ahead and choose a value. Okay, well, this question is worth exactly $4,000. Well, what do we have here? Little Bo Peep needs to brand her sheep. See if you can wrap your skull around this. Say little Bo Peep goes to her neighbor's house looking for the sheep. What might she see on the dinner table that would convince her she's found her dead delicious flock? Escargot, Vichy Swab, Black Pudding, or Haggis? Haggis is a mixture of minced sheep's organs, <clears throat> excuse me, cooked inside the sheep's stomach. Poor Bo Peep, and she thought things couldn't get any worse until she saw Mother Goose simmering on the stove. <coughs> Choose an amount. Let's see what this one comes to. Four thousand dollars. All right, give it up for ye be answering this question. Arg. Oh, have I got a treat for you. We've got a special guest for this next question, my close personal pirate friend, Orangebeard. Arr, avast ye lazy landlubbers. You make me sick with ye landlubbing ways. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's enough. Remember, you're just an actor. Now ask your dumb pirate question. Okay. Arg, riddle me this. X marks what spot in the English alphabet? Yo. <laughs> X is the 24th letter in the English alphabet, so we'd be marking the 24th spot. <laughs> but there be no gold below this X, only dastardly words, which nobody uses, like xylophone and X-ray. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for stopping by, Orange Beard. Sure. And hey, next time, leave your freaking parrot at home so it doesn't crap all over the studio. Okay? okay. Thank you. Aye, aye. Him out. The total amount for this one is five grand. The category is fold. Fold like the wind. Okay, um, I'll be right back with you folks. I need to, uh, I need to refold this map I was using. I was driving around and, oh, come on, damn map. Why don't they ever fold back up when, oh, geez. Will you look at this thing? Ow! Now I got a paper cut. Paper cut! Stupid creases. Hey, wait a minute. Look at this. I made a swan. Which Japanese art form have I just mistakenly mastered? Bushido? The Japanese art of paper folding is known as origami. I like my paper swan. Hey, and look. When I fold the map like this, I can make New Jersey pucker up just like a real butt.
Go ahead and grab an amount. Here's your total value for this one. 62.50. All right, flesh butt spits I'm poor. It's time for Wiggle this mess run. Hey, remember, try and solve it quick so you can win more cash. The opening value for this one is 62.50. Okay, take a look at this phrase and tell me what it rhymes with. Lurch, fling, doorknob, he wish her. Okay, first clue, it's the name of a movie. It's the name of a movie about a chess whiz kid. Go for it, type in your answer and hit return. Of course, they never find Bobby Fischer because he's in hiding. And all I have to say about that is Lincoln, Nebraska, the 7-Eleven on 4th and Maple. Pick any amount. Here's what we got. Five grand. We're calling this one Hooked on Hemoglobin. Hey kids, it's Howdy Duty time. Suppose the vampires from the film The Lost Boys really do get lost. If they follow the Boy Scouts of America's advice, what will they do in addition to feeding on humans? Keep walking uphill, stay where they are, start a signal fire, or keep walking north. The Boy Scouts of America does not support feeding on human blood for nourishment. But if you get lost, they do recommend you stay where you are and wait for someone to find you. A task made all the easier in the Lost Boys case by the growing pile of human corpses near the campsite. Buzz in for the amount. The value for this question is going to be $4,000. This category is Games to Play in the Basement by Yourself. Okay, time for a little change of pace, I think. You know what I feel like doing? playing hide and go seek i love that game so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go hide and you come find me okay all right here i go all right no fear peeking i'm hiding now okay 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 i'm all hid now so tell me where am i behind the trash can in the refrigerator under the desk or behind the microphone stand In the refrigerator? No, 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 I would know better than to hide in a refrigerator without putting a coat on first. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> gotcha. You're stupid. I was right here behind the microphone stand the whole time. I just had my hand in front of my mouth so it sounded like I was someplace else. Fool. Oh boy, I love that game. Hey, maybe we can play again later and you can go hide. Time to pick a value. The value for this question is 4500 Well, look what I found. That milk expired in 1587. All right, give me your best shot. Say you get one of those Have You Seen Me postcards that describes a group of settlers last seen in 1587. What colony... A group of 117 settlers on Roanoke Island mysteriously vanished without a trace. And considering that I just got the postcard in the mail the other day, well, it's no wonder they never found those people. Buzz in for your amount. Your value is 2,250 smackers. Here's a little something I call R-E-M, can't R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R, -E -E anything. Say, are you familiar with that upbeat R-E-M song, Losing My Religion? Yeah, well, check this out. If R.E.M.'s Michael Stipe is missing his copy of the Bhagavad Gita, his Good Karma t-shirt, and his statue of Brahma, which religion has he lost? Catholicism, Buddhism, Hinduism, or Judaism? J Judy... Ah, oh, Christ. No, sorry. That's not a hint. Right there. You know, I went to an R.E.M. concert once. Or maybe that was just a dream. Thank you, thank you. No, actually, I did go to an R.E.M. concert once. I slept through the whole thing. Bada-boom! Okay, thank you. But really, I did go to an R.E.M. concert once. Yeah, that was me in the corner. Me in the spotlight. <laughs> I thought that I heard you laughing. Time to choose a value.
Okay, contact your loved ones. We might not be coming back. All rise. The Jack Attack is now in session. Now you know all about this. Let's not waste any more time. Need a clue? What you find? And don't forget, finders, keepers, losers look like you. Bye-bye. A million! Let's see it! You jacked up your score! There it is! Hey, way to go! Who knew that playing with yourself could be so rewarding? You see, this is how those dirty, bad, filthy habits start. Now, lean back, close your eyes, and say... You don't know Jack! Want to get away? Come stay at the uh, beautiful Sam Benton Bed and Breakfast. Sam Benton is miles and miles away from civilization. Each room is equipped with a, a bunk-style bed and a private urinal. Continental bread and water breakfast is offered until 6.30 a.m. Enjoy recreational sports in the yard. Or make new friends in the popular rec room. You're purdy. And forget doing laundry, because each guest receives a complimentary orange jumpsuit. At Sam Benton, we'll take you away for the trip of a lifetime. 